hello everyone welcome back to another video well guys i will just jump right into the video and what this video is all about if you guys watched my last video and if you remember i mentioned some of the challenges i was facing with my planted discus tank and then i decided to make some changes to it and in this video this is what we will be doing if you guys haven't watched my last video i highly suggest you watch that video first so you can have a better understanding of why i decided to make the changes that i'm going to make I will leave the link of that video in the description below or somewhere around the screen. So let's get right into the changes. I used my tweezers to pull out the plants because my tank is pretty deep. And as I started to pull out the plant, I was really surprised with the root system they have developed under the sand. I really wasn't expecting that because when I planted these plants into the sand, they really had no roots. There were only stems, but it's really surprising how over the time they developed such an amazing root system. These plants I think are called Hygrophilia. I got it from another hobbyist and I just planted it all over the tank and they just grew over the time. And they just grew in a very short time. They became really bushy and it's really unfortunate. Or you can say it's really sad that I have to pull all these plants out because I really love plants I really love the combination of discus and plants I'm not really sure how things are going to look after all the plants are removed and I don't know how the fish are going to react how everything will be but this is what we have to do right now because I cannot think of any other solution right now okay so now pretty much all the plants are gone the fish have no space to hide and you can see as there's no space to hide the fish are picking at each other again because uh, now the the docile fish have to stand up for themselves this is all the uh, junk that's remaining in the tank it was all hiding among the plants under the wood maybe it's not as it's not necessarily fish food or fish waste it's also decaying plant matter the algae the algae have been scraping off uh, the glass and uh, other places it's all of it together and this is also another thing that builds up when you have a uh, crevices and you have uh, hard to reach spots and if you have a densely planted tank I guess there is some good stuff also that the fish likes to eat because the Corridora is really enjoying whatever is in there. Okay so I just did a water change and removed most of the mess that I could from the tank. And once the, once the decoration of the plants are gone you will see that the fish have started to school together. These were the two fish that were hiding the most and now because they cannot hide the only option for them to have is school together and stand up for themselves and that's really interesting uh, instead of they being hiding in one of the corners they are schooling and this is how the tank looks once all the debris is settled the water is clean uh, i i would say that uh, really i'm loving how i can enjoy the beauty of the fish now as there is no hiding places they cannot hide they have to be out, they have to school together, they have to interact, they have to stand up for themselves. And so far, so good and I'm really loving the change in the fish behavior. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't like how the tank itself looks like because I don't like empty tanks. I like the tanks to look as natural as possible. But for now, I'm really loving the change and the behavior of the fish how they're swimming how they're out they're not hiding uh, either they face each other or the school together it's really nice let's try let's try feeding this fish and here we go let's see the albino on the right is the one that was not eating actually both the albinos were not eating but now okay here you go before when I used to put the food, the dominant fish would go for the food and the docile fish will go and hide. But now you can see that having no decorations, having no hiding spots just really affected their behavior. Now all the fish are going right at the food, they're all eating. So that's, uh, 
that's a good change. I want to make some more changes to this tank until I can find a nice hardscape material for the tank. I think there is something I need to change in there. It's been a few days and I decided to change the white background to black and I would say that I'm absolutely loving the change. I love how the fish look against the black background. Uh, most of the people don't uh, advise or they don't, they don't like to put black backgrounds with discus because the discus, because the discus tends to get dark or they start to develop peppering but I've noticed so far in my experience that as long as you have a bright substrate the background itself will not affect much on the fish coloration. If you have everything white all around it will affect the fish to get to go really really light in color but if you have a black background and a white substrate I think it kind of balances it out but I think if you go with a dark substrate and dark background I think that will uh, cause the fish to turn really dark in colors and I love how the cardinals look they're really contrasting with the background I'm really really loving the change right now in the tank in the fish behavior I'm not worried about their eating situation anymore and I'm loving the contrast of fish colors with the background so far so good I'm really loving the change but I still pl plan to add some hardscape material I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I have to find something appropriate for that let's feed them again and here they go see See how aggressively all the fish are going after the food. Removing all the plants have really really solved this problem for me. Another change that I did is that I added more discus. If you, if you remember the pigeon and the yellow female discus, they were in the breeding tank. I decided to stop the breeding project for now and I added all the fish together in this tank. Because also when you have higher numbers of discus it helps with aggression and now I have no issues at all with their eating situation I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that the one drawback that you have with uh, having a black background is that once you start feeding the fish especially foods like beef heart mix or other mixes that are available in the market it will really cloud up the water and you can see every single particle that is floating in the water against the black background so so those 15 20 minutes uh, until all the particles are either eaten up by the schooling fish or it's picked up by the filter or it's settled on the substrate and eaten up by the corridoras uh, until then uh, this is really a situation that is not very pleasant to look at but other than that the black background i'm loving it so this is my experience with keeping plants with discus. I was loving the plants, um, but I mentioned my problems I was having. And removing the plants, removing everything has helped a lot with all the problems I was facing. But I, I will be further uh, escaping this tank. So if you're interested to see further changes happening to this tank in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, if this video helped you in any way in your, in your situation, if you have a similar situation like mine, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do comment and let me know what do you think about the changes I made. Do you like how the tank looked before or do you love it how it looks now? If you have any suggestions for a future uh, look of this tank that you would like to suggest, please let me know in the comment section. And hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope it uh, helped you learn something more about these beautiful fish, about this hobby. And also I would like to thank all those people who decided to subscribe to the channel, who have been supporting my videos. I'm really thankful for all the support. Thank you for all the love and support. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Until then, peace.